It was a so it begins. CNN's Clarissa defense. Ward reports from Kabul, covered head to toe, move. not one strand of hair showing. I'm Clarissa Ward. It's a stark contrast with how she looks in this CNN, CNN promo. Even dressed like this, she's met with hostility. They've just told me to stand to the side because I'm a woman. I spoke with PBS correspondent Jane Ferguson, who continues to report from Afghanistan despite the dangers. What do you see changing for the women around you? It's been an absolute roller coaster for people, and they're still not sure how this is going to to basically end. No one's quite sure what the new normal is and whether or not the new normal will be something that they can live with. We're also learning more about the desperate plight of Afghan civilians fleeing the Taliban. This video was recorded by a man as he and his countrymen clung desperately to the side of the cargo plane as it was taking off. And this is the scene inside the U.S. cargo plane. 640 people packed on board for the three-hour flight to Qatar. This is what the giant aircraft is designed for, carrying 150 troops or 170,000 pounds of equipment. In this remarkable photo, you can see the entire plane jammed with fleeing Afghans. Take a closer look, a baby drinking milk and bewildered children fleeing their homeland with only what they could carry. The photo was obtained by journalist Marcus Weisgerber of the Defense One website. There were a number of flights like this and there actually quite possibly could have been a flight with more people than you actually see in this picture, which is amazing. In the capital of Kabul, Taliban fighters were enjoying the fruits of victory, using the machines at an abandoned gym, driving bumper cars at a fairground, and enjoying a carousel ride.